everybody, it's Tamika, and we are back with final day, day number five, in the embellishment series tutorial. I hope you guys have enjoyed the previous four. Please check the link in the description box for the playlist if you haven't checked those out. So today, we're going to use our punches, and oh my gosh, I absolutely love how this came out. It's so, so shabby and so, so cute. This this next to the flowers have got to be my favorite. I'm not sure. It's so cute. I love it. So we're going to use our dies because we bought our dies and they are worth um, so much more than what at least I can say for myself, what I use them for. So this is what we're going to create. Cute little embellishment. Very, very cute. So um, this punch, uh, we're going to start out. Let's get it together, Tamika. All right, we're going to start out with, um, let me show you some of the things that I'll be using. I'm using a Martha Stewart butterfly punch. Any butterfly punch will do. I'm using uh, also this butterfly, butterfly, Martha Stewart leaf punch. I believe it's a, a leaf or sprig or something like that. And then um, we'll need some glitter and stickles and glossy accents or some sort of um, wet glue some spray adhesive and then whatever dyes you're going to use to make your flower I'm using this top dog dyes um, TC 108 it's called um, pretty petals number two and then um, some little embellishments flat back pearls this Michaels um, adhesive trim is in a dollar fifty bin and then um, that's it for that. And then, of course, you want to cut your base out. The scallop circle is one and a half by two inches. And just get my stuff together here. And then you'll want to um, cut out some filler paper. So what I mean by that, either you punch out if you can or cut out using your machine um, some lightweight chipboard to hold this together as a base, you know, so it won't be so flimsy on one sheet of paper. Or you can cut out some separate punches and some cardstock. So I'm using pink cardstock and I've cut out three as my fillers. And then of course you need two pattern papers. And did I say I was using the Bella Rose? I don't know. But I'm using this Bella Rose paper. Absolutely gorgeous 6x6. Six six. Super shabby, shabby paper collection. Okay. So I'm using the this particular paper. It's so pretty. I love it. So cute. And if you have any word beads or sentiment, we're basically just using the punches. And then if you have paper flowers, maybe you want to throw in there. So um, just, you know, get your punches together and let's get to it. So I'm going to start out um, with my three pieces of filler paper. And I'm going to use my glossy accents. I like the fine tip that this applicator bottle provides. I also, of course, like glossy accents. Dries clear. Very good at wet adhesive. So all I did was line that around the edges of my scallop. And I really like this scallop. It provides a lot of real estate to craft upon. So it's pretty long, elongated. So I like that. Just rubbing my glue in. Make sure my scallops are lined up. Okay. And then just get the second one going. So, yeah, if you have, you know, those punches that you got, those tiny ones, you know, you get like a set of eight dies, and then there's always those little tiny ones you really don't know what to do with, or those small ones. This will be the perfect project for that. A sort of a frame one if you have it lots of options but the scallop circle works fine for me and like I said it's two inches long by one and a half inches wide so that's on there so those three pieces provide a nice sturdy base and then we'll have the top two layers so they'll be totaling five pieces of cardstock so that this embellishment won't be 
shabby <laughs> in terms of rinky dink but it will be a shabby embellishment of course all right just get that here I'm gonna flip it over and get this last little piece on top here oops there we go put this on the top Make sure it's nice and centered. And then I'm just going to give it a good press. Oops. I can't do it. I keep forgetting I can't do it because my camera is not stable. All right. Make sure that's nice and adhered. The thing about glossy accents is, or, you know, this type of wet adhesive, it doesn't take long to dry. So now we have that straighten. I'm going to put this lid back on so it doesn't clog. Okay, so that's what we have. The next thing we want to do is punch some of these leaves. I'm using this uh, fig leaf punch from Martha Stewart and I'm going to cut out two, I think I used four. I think I used four. I'll just cut out some extras just in case. Cut out six. Okay. Punch that out. And then I want to get my trim as my base. Any little lace adhesive trim or even just add some ATG tape to a tiny little piece of lace. You just want something decorative coming out the side here. I'm going to cut off this extra. I don't like how that one looks. Let's do that again. And before I hear it down, I'll cut it. Okay. There we go. So, you can put this away for now. And then I... Spray here, there. So this is what we have. Super cute. And so I'm just gonna get my hot glue. Put a dab of hot glue on this left hand side. I put it right here, and this is where I'm gonna put my spray. And I'm gonna arrange it all around here, so it can kind of stick out like a feather. Oh, feathers would be good here too, if you have a feathered die or feather punch. I'm going to use my scissors to get that settled. You just put it how you want it. Okay. And put a little glue under here. And then I'm actually going to add one more on the back and add that there. So yeah, feathers will go there too. Just um, something to add some kind of festivities to the end. Really cute. You can also use um, eyelash trim. Just something whimsy up there. Okay, so the next thing that I'm going to do is add these little... Um, these are from Wild Orchid Crafts, and they're the centers of the flower centers. I can't think of the name of them right now, but I'm going to use three of them. And then I'm just going to fold it over. Okay, and then I'm just going to twist the end just a little bit. And then add some glue to the center. And add these things. bring it down a little bit we just want to add some you know just layering all that we're doing is layering just adding something fun to this edge quite fun okay the next thing we're going to do is add these flowers 
I cut all, this is all, all the flowers that come with it. This was too big, so I didn't use that at all. But I did use this one, and I'm just going to take the extra little pieces that decided to hang around flower really quick. And I'm doing this on the back because I don't want this ink to show because I'm using an ink pen. All right. So, there we go. Oh, I missed I missed two of them. One and two. So we're going to use that one. And then I'm going to use this one here. And that still has a flower hole there. These two. And then let me just think. And then I use this one. All right, so I'm going to use just these two flowers out of that. And all I'm going to do is just kind of bend up the edges a little bit. It's like pulling it and pinching it. See? Just a little bit just to add some texture to this flower and then that's going to sit there so all I'm doing is adding some hot glue to the back boom right there Get my edge is fluffed up and then for this one I'm going to add a little bit of foam tape to the back give it some height a tiny bit. Peel that off and I'm going to add some hot glue to this back. Okay. And I'm going to off center that. And then I'm just going to pick up these petals a little bit here. So cute so far. Isn't it lovely? All right, and then I have this tiny little crochet trim with this little bead in it. And I'm just going to add it to the center of that. Just go around your craft room and find tiny things and see, see if they work. I'm sure they will. Okay. So. I'm using, uh, this is the paper that I use for the flowers, obviously, and I just, I'm just i just going to punch a butterfly out of it, or two butterflies, and I'm going to use the opposite side, this gray side. So, I'm going to fold up the first one, add some hot glue to the back, and that's going to go onto my flower petal, sort of. Willy Wonk. Not really, you know, just off center, just like it's laying, landing on the flower. Just like that. So that's the first one. And then the second one, I'm going to put some pizzazz on it. So on the gray side, or the opposite, whatever side you're having facing up, you want to get your spray, your spray, spray glue, zap it, let it air for a quick, quick, quick second. Take your vintage or take your glitter, lay it over the top. Let that think for a, a moment while it dries. I'm just going to take the butterfly and lightly tap it off the excess. Okay. And then we have this, oh geez, this gorgeous, look at that gorgeous, gorgeous butterfly. And then we're going to center it in the middle of that other butterfly. We just did two to give it some depth. Put a little bit of hot glue on the middle 
and then center it on that butterfly. Cute, cute. Look at it. Absolutely gorgeous. I like to pull apart these two butterflies just a little bit. See how cute that is? Okay, and then we want to take some flat back pearls. These are all connected. So I'm just going to disconnect the strip and then just randomly you know, place, a, place them on here and get my sentiment. And then that's gonna go here. This says wish. I got these beads from the Michaels bead section. They're ten dollars for a bunch of beads that say different things. This is what we have. It's gorgeous. And finally, our finish and touch are some. These are not stickles. They're actually Studio G. Um, glitter glue because I don't know where my stickles went and I'm just going to outline the rim of the scallop edges with this glitter glue okay just give that a whirl and then I'm going to do my petals give them a touch of sparkle as well. Add a little bit to my leaves. Just some sparkle. We want this to shine. Super pretty. Okay. There we have it. Isn't it lovely? Isn't it lovely? There's the other one. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> Love it. So that finishes out our series, guys. I hope you learned something. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, please like the video if you like it. And um, let me know what you think. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.